Hello everybody and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. I am so, so excited about showing you guys this video today. I really hope you like it as much as I do. So what do we have? Well we have my version of Mumbo Jumbo's three-way piston door. So about a month ago, Mumbo Jumbo released this three-way piston door and I had quite a few comments in my comment section below saying, please can you make one for Minecraft Bedrock Edition? So how could I say no, hey? Eh? So that's exactly what I've done today. Now the redstone is pretty different actually from Mumbo Jumbo's. Some similarities, but quite a lot different. For example, I'm only using one button. Now, I could make this quite easily. That's why I challenged myself to make it only with one button. So how does this work? Well, at the moment, as you can see, we have our straight walkway, no redstone showing. Flick the button, the door closes, and now it opens and we can go down. Then we flick the button again, door closes and we can go up as you can see the only redstone ever showing is just sometimes just a little piston head then press the button once more and then we'll be back to straight and as you saw they're all controlled by one button so you're probably imagining this redstone to be absolutely huge but actually it's not so bad it might look very complicated but it really isn't actually that bad Obviously, the tutorial will clear that up for you. <laughs> so, without further ado, let's go on with said tutorial. Just before we get into this tutorial, I have another shout out to give. So, last week I said, if you want a shout out, just write, I want a shout out because, and then write something funny. Now, there was quite a few that made me laugh. I'll put some uh, comments up on the screen now, which didn't get first place, but were very good. Obviously, I'm not going to say their names out because that would defeat the purpose. <laughs> but the winner is. Drumroll, please. Rage Falcon with his comment, I want a shout out. Then the reason, because I want it. <laughs> I don't know why I found that so funny the first time I read it. But anyway, Rage Falcon, this is your shout out. Oh, my ears! <laughs> oh, way to ruin a good song. <laughs> Dear me. Right, if you want a uh, shout out in my next video, all I want you to do is write in the comment section, I want a shout out because, and then write when a bad situation occurred to you, but something very funny came out of it. And then I'll pick my favourite. So, for example, if you were a kid and perhaps you jumped off of your bunk bed thinking you were Buzz Lightyear and you got concussion. I don't know who would be stupid enough to do that. <clears throat> anyway, <laughs> let's get on with this tutorial. So, for this truly amazing build, you're going to need 37 sticky pistons, 5 regular pistons, 4 observers, 5 droppers, 3 hoppers, 10 repeaters, 49 redstone dust, 2 redstone blocks, 10 redstone torches, 5 comparators, 3 non-stackable items, I'm going to be using wooden swords, 2 throwaway blocks, which are stackable, 63 blocks for redstone to go on, 5 slabs, 22 stair blocks, 1 button, and then however many blocks you need for decoration. Okay, to start, have 2 blocks like this. So this is actually where your door is going to be. Now, place a block here, then come up 3 blocks like this of your door block. Place a block here, 2 more, block, then down three, and then we can remove these blocks in the corner. Then come to one side, come out two, move that middle one, and then have a line of sticky pistons going into that block like that, then same on the other side. So block here, one out, move that middle one, and sticky pistons facing inward. Like that. Then we want to place a block here, redstone dust, block here and another block up, sticky piston here, Redstone block here. Then we want a slab. Block, 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 block. Slab. Block here. One up. Remove that block. Sticky piston facing downward. Redstone block. Block here. Dust here. Then dust all along like this. Then we want to come to the back. Place a block here. One up. Place a block here. And then one up. 
So like that. So when we have a lever here, we should see the door close, click it off, and it opens. Now remove that lever for the time being. Okay, now that you've done that, come to the back here, place firstly a block here, then a sticky piston like that. Then a block here, sticky piston, block, sticky piston like that. So three up like that. Then we can do the same on the other side. So just up like a staircase like that. Okay. Now underneath the sticky pistons, what we want to do is place one more, and then three more, so four in a row, like that. Then the same on the other side. So one, two, three, four. And then up the top here, four, one, two, three, four. And on this side, one, two, three, four. Now after we've done that, we want to place stairs like this. So these are actually your stair blocks, which are made up as part of the wall. What? Now we can't leave them like this at the moment, as you can see, because of you can see the sticky pistons even when you're going straight. So what you have to do is come here and place a stair block here. And what that does, it makes this block look like it's a full block when it really isn't. Block here and a stair block here. Then do the same on the other side, but obviously the opposite. Okay, like that. Then to place blocks like this. And we want five, so a row of five and two wide. Then we want to place some blocks here, but only four. Three, four. Then come out another one and one more. Remove that block and place a stair block like this and one more like that. Remove that block. Then we can cover up these blocks like this with full blocks. Like that. Okay, then the last thing we have to do is put a doorway here. And then make one more on top. So three up. Then two on top. Whoops. <laughs> there we are. And then one underneath. One, two, three. Block here. Two to the side then three up again. So you make sure you have this exactly right before you continue. Okay, so now what you want to do is come over to this side here, place a block here, then come out three more, two, three, remove the first three, and then two regular pistons, make sure they're regular pistons, facing this way, like that. Then do the same on the other side. So block here, then come out three more, remove the first three, then regular pistons here and here. Remove that block. Then come underneath, place a block here, then a stair block, block underneath, stair, block underneath, and a stair block. Like that, and then we can place some more like this. Then if we just grab a decoration block, then we can place it here. Now last thing we want to do here is come over to this middle section, place a block here, one more out, move that middle one, stick a piston here, here, and here, move that block, then do the same on the other side. So block out, one more, move that block, sticky piston, here and here, like that. So firstly, we're gonna do the bottom section. So first of all, grab a block and place it here, a torch here, block here, one out, redstone dust, then blocks like this, block here and block here, remove that block and that block. Now I'll place a block, block, sorry, a repeater on two tick delay, then place a block here, one here, one out, and another one. Repeat it on one tick, and some dust here. Then place a block, one up, remove the block, three along, dust on all three, block here, one out, remove that block, block here, repeat it on one tick, dust here. Then come over to this side. First of all, place a block here, then again, a few more. Block here, block here, remove this block and this one. On this first one, we want a repeater on one tick. On this second one, we want a repeater on two ticks, like that. Then come underneath here, block here, one underneath, two out, move that block. Repeater, dust, block here, one up, three across, dust on all three. Torch here, block here, one out, move that block, and dust like that. Then we want to grab some stair blocks and place, if we crouch we can place one 
if we can here and then one here so when we grab a lever once we just place it down here so at the moment as you can see we have just our normal walkway we flick the lever and now we have a staircase going down flick the lever once more and it all gets hidden away and we can remove that lever for now okay next thing you want to do is come over to this top hand side top hand side <laughs> Come over to the top, place a block here, one up like that, and keep going up like it's a stair. Then when we get to the top, just place one more here. Block here, one out, then have like a type of wall. Like that. Some wood blocks here and here, and then fill in the rest of the wall. Okay, now that you've done that, grab a regular piston and place it down here. So in line with this one, but facing downward. Then place a torch on top of it, and redstone dust all along like this, up here, like this, and all along here, then a block here. Torch here, block here, and dust on the, on the block and these two pistons. Not on this piston, only on these two. Then come over to the other side and do the same. So torch here, block here, dust, dust, and dust, like that. So at the moment we have a regular walkway, but if we grab a lever and turn this piston on, as you can see now, we have our up all done. We flick it, lever off or remove it, and there we are. Ha! Huh? <laughs> English isn't good for me today, and there we are. <laughs> That's better. So before we do any more redstone, what we want to do is grab some decoration blocks. And firstly, we want to place some blocks around like this. You don't have to make them out of slabs, obviously. Whatever blocks you want. So this is our door frame, like that. Then we'll grab some wall blocks. But make sure we kick out these blocks here, like that. Then come up like this. Then our button is going to go here. So if you want to, remove that block and place a different block so we know that one is special. Then place some of your flooring blocks like this, just so we know what we're doing. Okay, now that we've done that, we want to come out the back here, place a dropper here, then a block, whoops, <laughs> then a block here, one more, remove that block, and a dropper facing upward here, like that. Now in that top dropper, place three non-stackable items, like that. Okay, we can grab these actually. Okay, now we've done that. Crouch, place an observer here, dropper facing this way, <laughs> that's it, a hopper going into that dropper there, a hopper here, and a hopper here. Then click on this dropper and place a rubbish block, so a block you can waste in there. Then place a block here, one here, one up, remove that block. We want to grab a comparator here, a torch here, block here block here and this is why we did the walls we want a repeater here on four tick delay so if we press the button now as you can see the door closes for a little while and now one sword or one non-stackable in the bottom we press it again now two will be in the bottom press it once more and then three so for the time being remove those and place them back in the top dropper okay the next bit is quite hard to follow so just make sure you pay attention when you're doing this bit so firstly, what we want to do is place a block here, okay, then an observer facing downward here, then an observer facing upward here, block here, one more, remove that block, sticky piston facing this way, remove that block. Okay, now underneath this dropper here, place a block and one more, like that, then a comparator coming away, like that, block here, block here with dust on it, slab, now before we place dust here, just place a block here like that, dust here, comparator here, then block here, one up, move that block, block, comparator here, and dust, so you're following it so far, make sure you are, <laughs> there we are, then a block here, a block here, so dust on both, Block here with a repeater on it on four tick delay going into that sticky piston. Oh, uh, regular piston, sorry. Then a slab here, one out, remove that block. Dust here. Now this bit's easier if I do it in the reverse. So 
block here dust here dust here dust 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 here block here dust block repeater or sorry on one tick and then a block here with dust on it so just make sure you get that absolutely right <laughs> rewatch that bit a couple of times if you want to just to make sure you got this bit absolutely right so comparator comparator here comparator there just make sure none of the redstone is canoodling like this blue bit here or the yellow just make sure that everything is separate Okay, now the last things we have to do is firstly come over to this side, so where we placed the, the sticky pistons earlier. Place a block here. Okay, <laughs> one up. Torch here, block here, then dust on top, and then do the same on the other side. So, block here, one up. Torch, block, dust. Then come to the, this Comparator here, going into this block, then this block here. Place a comparator, fa sorry, a dropper facing downward. Then a block, then one more. Move that middle block, and place a dropper facing upward. In this top dropper, place a rubbish block, so a block you can throw away. Then a block here, one here, one out. Dust on both. Torch here, observer here, block here, and block on top. Like that. Block here. Comparator here and it should turn on block here one up remove that block torch block here one out move that block and a repeater on one tick delay then the last thing come over to this side and just fill in these space blocks here with some of your decoration so when we test it we can get a, a full feel of what it actually uh, looks and feels like so now let's give it a quick test so at the moment we have just a walkway. So we come around the side, we realise the comparator is has nothing going through it, so all of our systems are off. Then we press the button once, the door will close, and now we have the stairs going downwards. So if we come out the back again, this comparator has one uh, sword, so one non-stackable item through it, which means this RS null latch has hit its block down from here to here, which turns this bottom section on, but that's all it's doing. So the only thing which happened at the moment is this bottom section is on. Now we press it again, the door closes, and now we can go up. So now this RS null latch has been powered again, but from the bottom, because this now redstone is dust here down here, turning this torch off, powering this observer, which now powers that block, that dropper, that dropper, and removes this block from here and places it up here. At the same time, it's also powered this repeater, which has turned off this top circuit, which means that we now have an upward staircase. I hope this is making sense so far. <laughs> then when we press the button again, we go back to normal. Now what this does is it sends the third non-stackable item in here, which means the redstone dust goes all the way up to here, powering this repeater, which powers this redstone dust, which powers this block, which makes this uh, sticky piston, move this observer in top of this and when two observers are like this and they're not facing each other when they're on top of each other they shoot pulses back and forth now what that does it sends about three or four pulses into this block which will send all the non-stackable items from this block back into the top as you can see so quite simple really <laughs> oh dear i hope you like the design as much as i do though because i love it and this is the end of the tutorial. I really enjoyed making this video today and this tutorial. So please, if you do like it, give us a like. And if you really loved it, make sure you subscribe with that wonderful subscribe button for more awesome content like this. Anyway, I'll catch you guys in the next one and I'll see you later. Bye.